Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand how to export GSTR1 and GSTR3B using Tally Prime. Tally Prime Release 3.0 brings in an all new facility for exporting GST returns in Tally Prime to make your overall experience of filing returns simpler. With Tally Prime, you can export GSTR1 with separate JSON files for each section, which makes uploading transactions in the respective sections on the GST portal all the easier. On the other hand, you have the flexibility to export the file in the format of your choice. Exporting GSTR3B as an Excel spreadsheet provides you with the data in a format identical to the Excel utility provided on the GST portal. This makes it even easier for you to upload transactions on the portal. If you are using the multiple GST registrations feature of Tally Prime, then you can choose to export GST returns for a specific GST registration or all GST registrations. Now, let's look at the process of exporting GSTR1 using Tally Prime. To export GSTR1, press Alt plus E. GST returns and press enter. The export GSTR1 screen appears. Press F2. Enter the from and to dates to change the period if needed. If you are using the multiple GST registrations feature, then the report screen displays transactions of all GST registrations. If you want to export transactions of a specific GST registration, then press F3. Select the GST registration and press Enter. You can view all the transactions and summaries that are ready for export. Moreover, the transactions for amendment can be easily identified using the voucher date and the transactions with the indicative term delete are the ones that you have deleted from your books. It is necessary that you upload these transactions prior to other transactions on the GST portal. Just like other GST reports in Tally Prime, you can identify the voucher number, taxable amount and tax amount provided against each transaction. On this screen, there are no transactions having a mismatch with GST data. Press F12 to configure this screen further. Show Party GSTIN or UIN enables you to view GSTIN of the buyer in the export screen. Show Section enables you to view the section of the transactions in GSTR1. Show GST status enables you to view the status of the return for a specific transaction or report. Press Ctrl plus E to save. You can now view the Party GSTIN section and the respective GST status of all transactions and reports. Modified in books after export is displayed against transactions and summaries in which changes are made after you had exported those using Tally Prime. Now, you can also use basis of values to view other transactions such as the ones with mismatched GST data. Press Ctrl plus B. The transactions where no action is required are the ones that are already exported or reconciled. You may not want to view those transactions at the time of export. Press Enter on Include Transactions that are mismatched with GST data. If you upload the transactions on a daily basis, then you need to export only transactions each day. However, you need to export the HSN Summary and Document Summary only at the end of the month. So, during the month, you can set both options as No. Press Ctrl plus A to save. You can now view the transactions with mismatch. Now, if you press X to export without selecting transactions, then all the transactions, including the ones with mismatch in GST data, will get selected for export. Select the transactions that you want to export. 
since transaction with a mismatch in GST data needs to be corrected, we will not be selecting those for the export. Now, press X to export. Press F6 and specify the folder path on which you want to store the file in your computer. Press F8 and select the file format based on your business practice. If you select JSON Data Interchange, then you can press C and export separate files for each section. Now press E to send the file to the specified folder path in your computer. You can see that all the JSON files for separate section are generated. Moreover, the GSTIN, GSTR1, section name, period for which the GSTR1 is exported, and the date and timestamp in the file name, help you identify the file easily. Now, let's see how to export GSTR3D. From GSTR3D, if you press Alt plus E, GST returns, and press Enter, then the export GSTR 3B screen appears. Alternatively, if you press Alt plus E from anywhere else and then go to GST returns, the export GSTR 1 screen appears. Press F5 to switch to export GSTR 3B. You can view the total liability and input tax credit as per your books for all your GST registrations. Press X to export. Press F6, specify path and press Ctrl plus A. Press F8, let's select Excel, Spreadsheet and press Enter. Press E and the data will get exported to the specified folder. You can see GSTIN, GSTR3B and the period along with the date and timestamp in the file name for easy identification. Open the Excel file and you can see the format of the GST data is identical to that on the GST portal where you can even validate this data at the time of uploading. Once you export GSTR1 and GSTR3B using Tally Prime, you can upload the same on the GST portal. As you saw, it's very easy to export GSTR1 and GSTR3B using Tally Prime. Moreover, you have a variety of options to configure the export GSTR1 and export GSTR3B screens to view different types of transactions and get a complete overview of your GST returns of a specific period.